Hey y'all, it's Will Edmond, also known as Plant Daddy, and welcome to the Adventures of Will. Today, we're in Greenville, South Carolina. And in this video, I'm gonna show you places you need to eat, things you need to do, and people you need to meet. Let's do this. Starting the morning off in a tiny house, beautiful tiny house in Greenville, South Carolina. Whenever I arrived a few days ago, I saw so many beautiful buildings, mountains yeah, in the horizon. It's absolutely gorgeous. And maybe this is a hidden gem that a lot of people don't know about. And there's my friend. <laughs> What's the up, guys? The plan. Let's go check out Greenville. Let's go check out Greenville. Go. I hopped into my car and then I hit the streets. It was easy getting into the city from the tiny house and there was no traffic, unlike living in Atlanta. Another reason I love smaller size cities. All right, so our first stop is Cuckoo Juice. Really cool place, very artsy. I can tell, you see the art on the wall. Jonathan's thirsty. Yes, my friend's thirsty. Let's go in and get some juice real quick. I'm so thirsty right now. I think I'm gonna get the Kool-Aid. I heard really great things on Yelp about their Kool-Aid drink and I'm ready to drink it up. That's good. That's exactly what I needed. It tastes like ice cream right here, man. Coffee mm -hmm. ice cream. Yeah. You gotta try this one for sure. Leaving Kuka Juice, got our smoothies for the morning. I think it's time to get some breakfast or something like that. I wanna see some parks. I wanna grab some food, do a little exploration downtown, and uh, yeah, see if we meet any people while we're on this journey. I love vegan desserts right here. I'm getting the Twix donut. Look at that. Oh my goodness. One thing that I really love about this place so far is that whenever you walk in, it really has this southern country feel. You know that I'm a country boy and I love that. And then they have a whole entire vegan menu. It's called the No Kill Menu. So this restaurant has half vegan and half meat dishes. I think it's great to have a lot of vegan options in a city like this. It gets more people to know about going vegan, uh, plant-based, and I think that's really exciting. This is a place that you should definitely come to. So we got vegan chicken, garden patty with mac and cheese, some yucca fries, and a side of sauce. Yeah. Look at that mac and cheese though, man, dude. Mmm, what it smells like, friend? It's so good. It's so good. So good. <laughs> it smells good and it looks good. Y'all, a vegan Twix donut. Look at it. God damn, that donut is so soft. It tastes like a. It tastes like a cake. You're gonna eat too much today. Oh, that's right there. That's free. This is a good place to eat when you come to Greenville. And the owner is so nice. He came in fist pump, pounded, and everything. That's love. That's a southern love right there. And that's our new homie over there, Polo. Tell the people what's up, man. And we in here eating on these wonderful sloppy joes, vegan sloppy joes, and yellow fries. Yes. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Y'all, this is John, the owner of Farm Fresh Fast. What's up, guys? Yes, and this gentleman over here, Big E, what's up, brother? What's up, my man? He's making all the food delicious and tasty back here in the back. Man, thank y'all so much for the love and the support. And I hope if you're watching this video, make sure you put this on your first stop to get some amazing, delicious, vegan food right here in Greenville, South Carolina. All right, so our next stop here is at Falls Park. I'm really excited to see this because this is basically a fall that runs through the city of Greenville, South Carolina, basically a river, a Russian river at that. Whenever someone is in downtown South Carolina, if they're talking about, oh, I'm down at the park, they're talking about Liberty Park right here on Reedy River. They also have this amazing suspension bridge that stretches over the falls that you can see their entire falls while you're down here. There's a Shakespeare festival here every year and families and friends come here with their picnic blanket and their food to Enjoy this magical scene. Is he like a year old? Hey, yo, hey! I got a new friend here. As you walk across the suspension bridge, you're going to be directly over the falls. You can hear the rushing water coming over the rocks. You can also see families enjoying the picnic areas 
always surrounded around this green space. Now, I think any city is great when it has a waterfall or a river running right through it. One thing about this park, there's a lot of art sculptures. They have this art series called Wings of the City that has a Mexican influence, which is also really dope because I love visiting Mexico. And so I think that's pretty cool to be able to be out here in Greenville, South Carolina to enjoy the art from around the world. And also green, greenery everywhere. All different types of flowers, plants, trails, everything. This is a beautiful park. I am so shocked about how much it is to do in Greenville, South Carolina. How did I not know this? I passed through Greenville going up north, never stopped here. <sighs> wow, amazing. Hey, pretty puppy. That's a pretty dog there. The sun is beaming. I'm getting kind of sweaty. I think I need something to cool me off again. I don't know if that's a beer or a smoothie but it's gonna be one of them. And our next stop is Yeehaw Brewery. I already love this spot because they have basketball goals outside. They have this big projector screen that you can catch right now. It's a tennis match playing or a late night show. And they have ample amount of seating here as well. See, when you walk into Yeehaw, you're gonna be presented with a huge menu. They have IPAs, Pale Ales, their world famous Dunkel, and a huge bar. So let me see if I still got it. Let's make some buckets real quick. I grabbed the brew from Yeehaw Brewery. Now we're about to go see some nature or something like that. The adventure continues. We just left the city, downtown Greenville, North Carolina, about 45 minutes to an hour. We're here at Grant Metal Overlook, and right behind my cameraman is Table Rock Mountain, one of the most iconic mountains in this area. And I'm gonna show you why it's so iconic. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? <laughs> There's no one out here but us. This place is very wonderful if you want to go hiking with your family or friends. If you own a motorcycle, you want to go around the winding roads. And then there's so many other places, nooks and crannies that you can visit around this area. You see there's a whole entire mountain ridge here. It's a state park that you can utilize as well. You can actually hike this mountain. If you have a couple of hours or a day here in Greenville, South Carolina, Hopefully these tips help you get around the city. Once again, my name is Will Edmond. Make sure you comment below, hit that like button. And I know a lot of you are not subscribers to my channel. And if you're watching this video, you like the style, you like all this happiness, consider subscribing because there's gonna be a lot of videos like this for you to watch. If you don't see me out here in nature, you'll see me in the kitchen. Until next time, beautiful people. Peace.